Hi folks, haven't done a video for about 10 days now. We're down Jimmy's unit. I'll show you what's going on. See you in a minute. Right, as we can see, Jimmy's got a couple of cars in here. We've still got the red Fiat in the back there. We've still got the Piaggio moped over there. I'll show you that in a second. We've also got the Reliant Regal, which we've still got finished. And let's have a little peek outside as well. I'll show you what we get outside, which a new car we got into work on. It's gonna have a full respray. Let's show you that one. You might have seen it before. If we come through here, look at that. Look, we've got the Trans Am. Lee's Trans Am is uh, gonna get a respray. As you can see, let's take a little bit of a, a look at what's happened here. As you can see, typical uh, work done oh, probably over in America, I would have thought, where this car come from. They're into the habit of actually skimming the whole doors when they do body work. And as you can see, this had some uh, rust on the centre of the panel there. And it looks like the whole door's actually been skimmed. So um, the rest of the door is all pretty much sound, as I say. It's just the paintwork which we're going to be changing. This is going jet black, by the way, but uh, as you see, we've had to sand that down. Quite thick filler on that. He's not taking it all down, it's just going to have literally a, a, a blow over. We're going to try and get some new trim for it here. As you can see, these window trims are all cracked there. And uh, Jimmy's taken the spoiler off of the back at the moment. And as you can probably see, the original colour was this sort of uh, olive sort of green colour, which I gather is quite an original colour for a large American muscle cars of this sort of era as well. So uh, that's the colour it was. But as you can see, the spray job which it's originally had is full of orange peel. It is this uh, metal flake finish and it really is looking very, very tired. So uh, yeah, Lee's decided to actually have it all resprayed and uh, Jimmy's got the job. So that's the Trans Am. His number plate there is Knight, as you know, for Knight Rider. This is a gener third generation Trans Am. It ain't the same one as you get in the uh, Knight Rider show, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's near enough, but uh, so it's going to be jet black anyway. So that's one project which is coming up. Right, it's not, I say a couple of cars are coming at the moment. Jimmy's got, this is just the front bumper on this, Jimmy, you got to do? Yeah. Front bumper's got to be done on this one. As you can probably see around here, it's got feathers stuck coming through the inside. It's actually hit a bird, and I would presume it's a, a pheasant. So the front bumper's had to come off this car, as you can see. It's got to be resprayed and repaired. We got this little uh, Honda. What's the matter with this one, Jimmy? Let's have a little look what the problem is here. Oh, I see, yeah, it's got a dent in there, so it's had a little shunt at the back there, as you can see. There's a little Fiat. It's still waiting to do some uh, finish work on this. That's paint has really gone hard now. It's been a, a good week or so before that was actually sprayed. And coming over here, as you can see, here's the old Piaggio moped. Again, we've let this paint go right off now. You probably can't see it in this light, but um, it's very nice and it's going to need to be cut back obviously and just buffed in places but that's just sitting there now the paint's really gone off nice and hard on that now so i'll be doing that shortly here's the bumpers the bumper covers off the fear i'm just gonna have to give these a bit of a sand down i've come down to give jimmy a hand as you know and uh, we're just going to finish painting uh preparing these the main part of it's been rubbed down and sprayed it's just all the edges he wants done so i'm going to be doing that for him and the trotter van as you can see is still being used as a skip uh, I've done all the repair work I needed to around here now. This is basically ready to go on this side uh, and around the other side. I've sanded that down to 240 grit. This is nearly ready for primer now. It just wants one final sand all over and then that's going to be all right. So while Jimmy's doing this, I'm going to get them uh, bumper covers out, give them a sand down, put you on time lapse and you can just hang around while we're doing this. So we'll see you in a minute.
there you go. Put that down there. Right, that's one bumper cover sanded down for that little Fiat 500. Now again, got to do this correctly because if you don't, it's going to show through. This has been primed as you know, Jimmy's primed this and we sanded it down to 500 grit. A lot of people say you can go finer up to 12 or 1500. Jimmy's going to take this down to 800. They'll just give it a base coat now of 500 at the moment. And all these little edges are the ones that are important because these are the things that are really tricky to do. So let's show you. As you can see, getting in all these cracks here and all these little pieces here, you have to pay attention to detail with all these stuff because it will reflect on your paint surface if you don't. As I say, the whole surface at the moment has been sanded down to 500 and I can feel with my hand that everything's really nice and smooth there. All around the creases there, all around the grooves where I've just sanded. So now this is at the stage now where we'll take it to the next stage and that will be an overall sand of uh, 800. Now one thing to realise is, is that different types of paint require a different surface. For example, if this was being sprayed metallic silver for example, it's notoriously hard to cover so you need an even finer, I wouldn't do a 500 sand with that so you're probably looking for 800 to 1000 with a silver to finish before painting your base coat on. So. Just something to be aware of. I basically, when I'm doing stuff, as so I'm doing lawn mowers and stuff like that, with a solid colour, I stick with 500. But something like this, Jimmy's going to take this to 800 as well. Has it got any metallic in this? No, it is a solid red, but uh, as I say, I've done it before with 500, it's perfectly fine. Jimmy's going to take it one stage further and give it a final sound with 800. So anyway, I'm going to carry on and do the other one now. Jimmy's still repairing this crack here. And uh, let's have a little look at this. So as you can probably see there, this is the top of this uh, bumper cover here. It's hit a bird, and as you can see, there's a big crack all the way down there. And it ends about there. Jimmy's put a little hole there just to stop the, the uh, split from spreading. He's actually done a fiberglass repair on the back of that. He's just going to grind some of the surface down here now. So we might as well watch him do that. So there again, he's opened up the slot basically on this side so that it can take uh, our fiberglass filler. There's many ways to do this. You've probably seen people do plastic welding, stuff like that. Many different ways to do this and uh, depending on what materials you've got available. I wouldn't use fire, uh, filler in here, polyester filler. That will crack. Jim has strengthened this up from the back now and this is really solid now. This is in fact, apart from the cosmetic side on the front, the underside is really, really solid now. It's been uh, stitched either side. So. All he's doing now is going to surface prepare this and then he'll um, obviously paint it all up afterwards. probably see there there's uh he's pushed a lot of this out but there's just a few little spots in there and all he's going to do is take that in with a little thin skim of filler 
So that's what he's going to do with that in a minute, and uh, that will finish this job off nicely. Everything else is okay on the panel. There's no rust on the panel there, so uh, yeah, it's going to be okay. So we've just got to move things about now. Coming towards the end of the day, we're going to pack up now. And I've done a little bit of work on the Reliant Regal. Let me quickly show you. Well, I had a problem here where this was all cracked and all that. Now I've actually filled this with fiberglass now so and smoothed that back off. So that's back to original. This panel down here had three cracks in it. And as you can probably see there, I've reinforced the back of it now with some fiberglass. That's three or four sheets of fiberglass on the back now. This has been, this is resin you can see here on the surface, but um, this will be sanded flat. Someone had actually filled this, as you can see, I've just dug it all out. That was all normal body filler. I've got a metal plate to come on the back there, which I've got to cut and make, and then that'll be uh, fixed to the back. And then I've got to recreate these holes there. This will be fiberglass filled as well. And as I say, that'll be a strong repair then, where these both hinges are gonna be fine. This one I've got to get from the back here. There's access to the back here for me to put a little metal plate in there as well. So that's gonna make that nice and strong. As you can see, Jim is still using it as a skip or a rubbish container for all his uh, old paperwork. Now, anyway, better go out and give Jimmy out and move things about, so let's go and do that. Right, so he's gonna move the Fiat over into the corner, get the other two cars in, then we gotta get the trans Am in. So we're just gonna mess about doing that now. See you in a minute. Right, there we go then, there's three cars in the booth and we've got the door shut, only little cars mind you. We've got this big old beast back in here and we've got the old trotter van, so there's quite a few things happening at the moment. So, just gonna finish off clearing up now, as you see, I do do the clearing up and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.